uh, the mayor of Barrie actually declared that this is National Rovers Day. For a community like Simcoe County, like Barrie, this, this, mean, this means the world to us. We've never played a game against a professional club any, in any sport, so we have uh, around 2,000 fans coming out. For the club, it's huge. We're seeing interest in the club at an all-time high. It kind of really speaks to what these competitions can do for a local club. And you know, we started off trying to build a football culture, not just a football team in our community. And we're really seeing that come to fruition now. Okay, listen, up on your feet, huddle up, let's go, get tight. Get tight, get tight, get tight. Talked about this yesterday. We deserve to be here. We deserve to be here. And there isn't a better group that I would want to be here with, I'll tell you that right now. Look at one another. And be serious, look at one another. Visualize the match. Visualize the process. Visualize the outcomes, man. Visualize your actions, okay? And visualize the win. And then from there, live. Live the intensity, man. Live the performance that you want. Live it. And ultimately, live the win. Are we good? There's nothing else we're here to do than that. And pull that resilience that we've talked about. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready? Let's be here, let's go. Canada's national competition, the TELUS Canadian Championship, resumes its preliminary round play here this evening in Toronto. And a night that will be remembered long in the minds, hearts, and souls of Simcoe County Rovers supporters as they take the next step in their club's just three-year history onto the biggest stage in the nation, going up against one of Canada's most storied clubs. Everyone knows what's supposed to happen. In 99 times out of 100 simulations, Toronto FC win if they do not win comfortably. But we play for that 1%. We play for the fairy tale and for this story for Simcoe County Rovers. There is nothing like it in all of sports. This is cup football at its best. They can dare to dream and so can the fans who have come along with them. Alex this into the box and hits the post. The Forge draft pick nearly set a little bit of Simcoe County history. Franklin, another nice looking cross of Lucy. It's out the leg and in the back of the net. Do not think you're out of this. Next goal is going to be everything. Next goal will give us life. I don't think anybody played poorly. We stayed together. We were suffering. It wasn't easy, we found moments to be brave, man. You lived the story today, though. And I lived it with you. I'll tell you that right now, okay? Because you know how bad I wanted this for you. So a lopsided scoreline for the representatives of League One Ontario, but the nearly 2,000 supporters, the players, the staff, and everyone associated with the club can make the drive back up to Barry with their heads held high as they debut in the Canadian Championship. I'm going to ask you to get on your feet one more time. So everybody stand up. Put your arms around each other. Nothing broke this circle, man. That scoreline did not break this circle. And I'm telling you that right now. And when you walk out of this room, you have to stay linked like this and connected. Because there's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm walking with my head high. Because what I seen today was a group of individuals that looked like a team. Coming, we started as individuals, today you look like a team. And everybody out there was, was very proud of what you just did. Everybody was very proud of what you just did. I give you my word, your story does not end here. Your story is going to continue. And you will get another opportunity like this.